Hello, darlings. I am Cassandra. Welcome to the Daily Inspirational Oracle Reading. Perhaps you may have a problem or concern where you are looking for insight, a different perspective, or perhaps a sign from the universe. Or you may simply allow your mind to settle within your heart and let whatever issues or problems you have surface from your subconscious and let it resonate with this reading. The first card I have for you today is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib and Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And their message to you is plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari who represents our heart chakra. Oh, this is another card that is... Okay, let me get it right. Do what you love and become who you are... Wait. Do what you love and become who you are meant to be. So that is her message to you. And the last card I have for you today is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib vertical card <laughs> are you listening to your soul or trying to please others this is a very very straightforward hand today so listen darling before we go on with this video I would like for you to take a moment and think about what it is you would like to accomplish more than anything in the world like do you know like what do you want written on your tombstone what do you want the world to remember about you when you leave honey that is what we're talking about we're talking about your supreme dream i call it your supreme dream i like to also call it your divine sublime plan it's like why you decided to leave the the universe the heavenly you know um from another planet to from the spirit world ha huh? Why you decide to leave the spirit world, jump into the body that you have right now. Like when you were with your your heavenly team, your spirit guides, right? And your um, your ans well, your divine masters. And you were coming up with this opportunity to incarnate in a body for this life. What were you thinking? Like what did you what did you sign up for? What did you say, okay? That sounds good. Yeah, I want that family. I'm going to need that family. I'm going to need these obstacles. I'm going to need this environment so that I can make all of these, so that I can make this supreme dream come true, right? You were with your divine, sublime, heavenly team, darling. And you had a plan. You had a mission. You know, you didn't just come here to, I know it may be fun to eat food and relax and watch videos and go to a mundane job but you probably have some dream that tucked away in your heart when you got here okay now I want you to think about that I want it to be something huge or when I say huge it could you could have decided I want to be a teacher that's huge to me it's unfortunate that people look down on teaching the world needs more good teachers you know what I'm saying so I want you to take a minute because I want you to have your supreme dream in your mind darling and now that you have that supreme dream in your mind, exactly in front of you, what you want to do. And I, what if you're thinking to yourself, I don't know what it is. You know what I think? I think everyone knows what it is. It's just that you just think it's too big or too out of reach to admit it to yourself. Like who wants to say, you know, I, I want an Oscar darling and I want to be, you know, on a TV show. I want to... Um, and I want to do A, B, C, and D. You know what I mean? Like sometimes we are so far away from what we really want. It's just, it is too embarrassing to admit it even to ourselves. So I want you to go back to when you were like a little kid before you were beat down by the world and people would ask you, what do you want to be? And you always had an answer. That, that dream, that, you know, that, that dream darling. So... Now, the card we have from Jungle Beauty Goddess, I mean, this says, are you listening to your soul or trying to please others? Now, when you think about that supreme dream that we were just talking about, when did you stop believing in yourself? When did you start believing that your dream was not possible? What happened? 
was it in second grade or third grade when that teacher told you you were never going to amount to nothing? What, when was it? Because I need you to go back to that moment. Because that moment has to be addressed. And you need to go back there and you need to, you know, give yourself a pep talk. Erase that drama. And, you know, I like to take all of the negative comments, negative energy, negative people, jealous people, envious people. Um, and I like to put them in, my mother used to say, you put it in your smoke, in your pipe and you smoke it. Like you take all the negativity as coal to put into the fireplace that burns to make you go, to make you, to inspire you, to keep you on track. So go back to, you know, the people telling you what you can't do. You don't know how many times someone has told me what I could not do. So I know I've probably talked about this, child, but you know, when I was in high school, I um, I took a GED out of high school. A GED is a general education diploma. And when I took my general education diploma, I had ninth grade credit hours. And at the time I really wasn't interested in school, but after working at Little Caesars, which was my very first job, and I didn't know what else to do in my life, I decided I wanted to go back to school. The counselor at the community college told me that I was not college material, and she told me that I should go into cosmetology. Now, this woman, she inspired me so much because every time I would think, you know, I can't do it, or maybe she's right, even though I have no interest in doing makeup for anybody but myself, but she told me what I couldn't do. And not just her, but I mean, I can understand why people were telling me, like, how, why would you want to go to college? You've blown off high school, right? You've, you've completely blown off high school, but now you want to go to college? Why? Like, are you even meant for college? So, with people telling me that I was not college material, that I was not going to amount to anything, um, I took that information as fuel in my fire. It fueled my fire to prove them wrong. You know what I'm saying? So, um, trying to please other people. Ask, are you listening to your soul or trying to please others? You really have to, child, listen to your soul. I mean, I know that seems obvious, but sometimes we don't even know that we're listening to other people because they're so deep. They're so deeply embedded within our consciousness, our, you know, our family, our friends, our society. They're, they always have a place for you. And even sometimes I found that if you are a girl who likes makeup, then obviously you, you can't want a doctorate degree or you can't be this serious person. Like how can you be this serious person if, if you want to wear pink hair? You know, it's almost like we put people in these categories. So the first thing, darling, today, I want you to think about what it is you really want to do I want you to first go back in time and I want you, you to ask yourself if you are on track to becoming your highest and grandest version of yourself are you have and if not I want you to think back to when people were telling you what you cannot do and what you cannot be and I need you to go back and talk to that little that version of yourself and give yourself a pep talk Say, darling, you can do it. There's absolutely nothing that you cannot do. Do what you love and become who you are meant to be. And that's just, you know, unless you figure out what, I know people always say, but I don't know what I love. I, I, don't, I don't know if I've said this in a thousand videos, but I'm going to say it over and over and over again. Sometimes you don't need to know what you want, just know what you don't want. When I was working at Little Caesars, and I was working with a guy who, um, <laughs> he was like in his 50s, and he said he wanted dental work done, but he had no insurance, and he they dropped out of school, and I decided to go, that's what made me want to go back to school, by the way, and, um, and I decided, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do in my life. I just knew that I didn't want to make pieces for $3.35 at Little Caesars at 56. Like and that was my motivation for a long time. Like, like I had no idea about what I wanted to major in, or, or, or even what a major was, child. I just knew I had one thing. I just knew I didn't want to be a little Caesar's at 56 with two teeth in my mouth. That was it. That was my motivation. So sometimes, you know, people say, "Do what you love and become who you're meant to be." 
just think about like like if you're at a point right now when I was asking the question what is your supreme dream and you couldn't think of anything don't worry about it just think about what you don't want you know what I mean and what can you do to help yourself to not be in that position so doing what you love is and is going to lead you to being who you're meant to be but I want you to know that living your life in motion there is this book by Russell Simmons I think he is called um, I don't know if he called it just do it or I can't think of the name of Russell Simmons book but the one thing he reset in his book over and over and over again is to keep moving he said because even if you make mistakes they'll correct themselves so what like even if, if you're in school and you don't like your classes and you don't like your teachers or you have a job and you don't like your job, it doesn't matter because you're, you're in motion. It, uh, in the process of doing something, you're going to eventually find what you love and where you belong because the only way you're going to find what you love is by experimenting with different activities, different classes, different information. Does that make sense what I'm saying? So just keep going. And then the last card we have is plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul darling Whew. now when you're planting seeds that bear the fruit of your soul this is when you are really doing something that you have no concern about the outcome or the results if you're like for example if you're making a video and you're thinking well only two people watched it I'm not gonna make another video well then you're not doing it for the right reasons if you write a book and you know what and reads your book you're not doing it that's those are not seeds from your soul in my opinion this is just my opinion my opinion is when you plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul it's something that you were born to do it's something that gives you you have more pleasure creating it that you hope to attract an audience who enjoy it as much as you enjoy creating it does that make sense what I'm saying you're you're gonna write that song anyway you're just lo you're just happy that other people enjoy listening to it those are the things that bear the fruit of your soul so the today's reading is all about please figure out what it is you really want most in the world when you incarnated on this planet when you, what you wanted before people told you what you couldn't do tap into that even if you're nowhere near that make sure that you're still moving that you're still chugging you know chugging along and even if you can't figure out exactly and can't remember exactly what that mission is remember to keep going because movement is going to help you discover where you belong and when you get there and you plant your seeds remember it's not how many people read your book or watch your videos or listen to your song you planted those seeds because that's exactly what you came to this planet to do i really hope this video helps someone thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you darling in the next video